What it is YouTube, my name is Batman and I want to look a little more into some of what I consider misleading advertising tactics employed by Activision leading up to the Ghost release. And originally I was going to include this stuff uh, along with my complaints about the dedicated servers, but the dedicated servers commentary ended up being like 15 minutes by itself. So for the sake of keeping videos under 20 minutes total, I just figured I would push this uh, to a separate video. Now this isn't as frustrating or misleading or I guess you could say as damning by itself. I might not even be pushed to make a commentary about it, but along with everything else, I think it's worth looking at because really what I'm trying to do is destroy your trust in Activision's advertising because the reason they can pull off these schemes where they can convince the fan base of something without explicitly announcing it is because of word of mouth, is because they shoot out one tweet and then the COD community runs wild with it. For example, with quickscoping back in September, Mark Rubin said on Twitter, and I quote, However, in re-envisioning sniper rifles, some aspects such as sway timing have changed the way sniper rifles function and so traditional quickscoping has been affected. Is it gone completely? Maybe. It certainly won't be viable in the way it previously was. Can't wait for you snipers out there to get your hands on these new sniper rifles and try them out for yourself. So, if you haven't figured it out yet, quick scoping is in fact still a very effective option in Call of Duty Ghosts. Guys can still sprint around corners and come out of the sprint, take bullets to the face and still manage to quick scope you. I saw a very funny video from El Presador uh, just the other day about it and here are a few clips that I got just myself playing from, uh, this is from like total maybe one or two sessions, about four hours total, and uh, that demonstrate the, you know, the viability of quick scoping and you can YouTube uh, you can YouTube search ghost quickscoping and there's already 10 million montages and tutorials and all kinds of good stuff So quickscoping does still exist and the final verdict at this point both of myself and most other youtubers I've seen uh, That talk about this is that quickscoping is harder But it's definitely still doable and in the right hands can definitely be employed Consistently and and effectively as a playstyle now my assumption was that quickscoping would be similar to how it was in Black Ops 1 when they said they were taking out quickscoping and they actually meant it. People say, oh well I could quickscope in that game, her her her. And certainly it was possible, but not even talented quickscopers would have consistent success with it. And that's really what I thought was qualifying the ambiguity here. Like yeah, people might get a quickscope as they did in Black Ops 1, but it wasn't a viable or very rewarding playstyle. Now quickscoping in every COD besides Black Ops 1, and this includes Ghosts, can be employed as a viable playstyle. I'm not saying these guys are dropping two KDs, but they can quickscope the entire match, every match, and go positive. And if they go, you know, 15 and 15, that's 15 kills that probably felt very unfair to the guy on the receiving end, because it kind of is at the end of the day. Uh, COD is the only game that allows sniper rifles to be used like shotguns on top of the long distance superpower sniper rifles already have, and that's the complaint that is at the cause of all this. Now, the tweet was purposefully ambiguous, and that's obvious and was obvious at the time, by the keyword, maybe. Is quickscoping gone completely? Maybe. I mean, that kind of statement doesn't actually give you any solid information about what's happening, other than that quickscoping is getting tweaked in some way. Now, Mark Rubin knows Call of Duty, and I'm sure he had an understanding at the time of that tweet to the extent at which quickscoping would be possible. And the answer to his own question should have been no. Quickscoping is still a part of the game, but it's gonna be a little harder. But that would have been too direct, too honest, because really, he wants everyone to believe whatever they want to believe. Now, I recognize that ambiguity from the start, but I thought it served a different purpose. I personally am not a big fan of quickscoping. For me, it's the most frustrating way to get killed in Call of Duty. And I know it's kind of a Call of Duty controversy, as they say. You have lots of players who fall on both sides of the issue and feel very strongly about it. A lot of people hate quickscoping and quickscopers and make a point of that to quickscopers' face. And of course, quickscopers feel so strongly about it that they made death threats to Vonderhaar a few months ago uh, when he made some minor nerfs in a Black Ops 2 patch. But you know, I've lived with quickscoping in every Call of Duty except Black Ops 1, and I enjoyed myself on all those games, enough to buy the next one. If they're gonna bring it in for ghosts, whatever, it's not the end of the world. But what sucks is, they sort of convinced me that it wasn't coming to ghosts, right? And I remember for the last two months of Black Ops 2, whenever I played and got quickscoped, I'd be like, enjoy it while it lasts, you motherfucker. But of course, it lasted and continues to last. Now, what I think that tweet of Mark Rubin's does is sort of lead anyone on either side of the quickscoping issue to believe whatever they want. For instance, for myself, 
What I thought at the time was they are taking out quickscoping but trying to provide quickscopers some false hope so that they still buy the game. They're trying to let quickscopers down as easily as they can, trying to thread the needle, right? The way I see it, they probably have this conundrum where the focus group research is showing that the COD fan base is basically split evenly in half on quickscoping. Or it might even be like a 70 or 30 thing, but 30% it's still a huge chunk that they can't afford to turn off from the franchise. So, they're trying to delicately walk this tightrope where they keep everyone happy. And that alone is not something I would condemn them for, trying to tightrope where they keep everyone happy. Uh, you know, trying to balance consumer desires, something every business inevitably has to deal with. And I know it's probably very difficult with something like Call of Duty, because people do get really passionate about this stuff. The Quickscopers death threats, for instance, these videos that we all make. It stirs a passion within its players because it's more than just a game to a lot of us. It's, 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 a, it's a hobby in and of itself. And I'm sure that's hard to manage sometimes, but what pisses me off is that they didn't walk a tightrope at all, at least in the advertising. They just orchestrated a clever untruth. And I don't say lie because it wasn't a lie. That's what's so frustrating about it, is again, it's what Stephen Colbert called truthiness. Because when he made that tweet, those of us who were tired of quickscoping were like, that's it, this is the end of quickscoping. Because really, why would he make that tweet otherwise? If the plan was to just make some minor adjustments to quickscoping, but still keep quickscoping as a very viable option, which it is, why risk pissing off quickscopers at all? The only purpose that tweet really served was to mislead people like me. And frankly, he could have just been honest and straight up and walked that tightrope like I was saying. He could have said, we are making quickscoping harder, but it's still there. And that would have been enough for me. I would have appreciated the nerfs. And I get it. If half your fam fan base wants quickscoping, you can't choose one over the other. I can live with that. I love democracy and all that good shit. But what happened was, for those of us who weren't quickscoping fans, we were convinced that they were taking out quickscoping, which for many of us was probably one of the things that pissed us off most in Call of Duty. Second only to lag for me personally. So for anyone who was sort of on the fence about buying ghosts, that might be the tipping point. If they had some COD fatigue, that game just makes me so fucking angry. Well, okay, maybe this time will be different. Sounds like they're really making some serious changes this time and removing some of the nonsense that degrades the quality of the game for me. But by the time we figure out quickscoping is still alive and kicking, we've already bought the game. Maybe we've already enjoyed it, and quickscoping alone is probably not going to motivate us to stop playing or return it. Quickscoping by itself, of course. There are other things that in a combination could do that. But by itself, quickscoping does not have that powerful of an effect. It's just one less thing to deter us from buying the game in the first place. And for many of us, it might have been a significant deterrent, and it must have been, and they must have picked up on it in the focus groups, otherwise they wouldn't be playing these games with me. But it's different with quickscopers, because they love what they do 100 times more than we hate it. For us, it's just another annoying thing about Call of Duty. It's not necessarily game-breaking, but for quickscopers, quickscoping is Call of Duty. Because the thing about uh, the quickscoping community is that quickscoping is generally the main thing, if not the only thing, that they do in Call of Duty. It's their favorite way to play, and for them it is more fun and much cooler than using regular weapons. They have their own entire sub-community within the COD community, and there's a kind of exclusivity to it. And that's why they get so passionate about the issue and make death threats, because it's not just some minor change to the game for them, it's their entire playstyle. For them, it is the game itself. And that's why I've always tried to be somewhat empathetic. I mean, I guess it'd be like if somebody tried to eliminate rushing from Call of Duty for me, which I kind of feel like Ghost has done, but that's for another commentary. Now, so we take all this into account. Because quickscopers are much more likely to have taken the game back or stopped playing altogether, or, you know, when their quickscoper friends realized, yeah, there isn't quickscoping, they don't buy the game. Because again, quickscoping is the game for them. So without quickscoping, they have no motivation to buy the game, period. Whereas for us regular players, it's something much more minor. So it's much more likely to have an all or nothing, deal or no deal, to buy or not to buy Call of Duty Ghost effect on them than that particular issue would have on us. So what happens is we quickscoping skeptics feel much less deterred by the game because we think quickscoping is gone. And then inevitably we just kind of shrug it off when it's still there because it's like I was talking about with the lag. We've lived with it so long that we're kind of used to it. So what Ruben was doing was making sure we weren't too... Uh, turned off to buy the next game, but after that they don't give a fuck, because you're just another kid that hates Call of Duty. And then the quickscopers, who still have quickscoping, even if they didn't buy the game at release, because they're convinced there isn't quickscoping, a day later, they see all the quickscoping montages and all their quickscoping clan mates are like, oh yeah, no worries guys, false alarm. And then they decide to buy the game at that point, because in the end, COD is the only game that has quickscoping. So mission accomplished. 
And again, it's all word of mouth. The vast majority of COD players don't follow Mark Rubin on Twitter. Like, I, like I read that and I told all my friends that there isn't going to be quickscoping. There were all these news articles from Game Informer and IGN and MP, MP, whatever the fuck the name is, claiming quickscoping was not coming to go. So when the majority of the fan base hears about this, they don't see Ruben's oddly worded tweet, they just hear no quickscoping. Or they see one of the 10 million YouTube videos announcing no quickscoping. They don't even have to watch the videos, they just search it on YouTube and see the dozens of titles pronouncing it true. And what's ironic is, I actually made a video a while back about how I thought they should change ghost sniping, and I said then that I didn't think taking quickscoping out altogether was really an option financially for Call of Duty, but I said they should nerf it in minor ways to ensure that if I sprint around a corner close quarters with an SMG, I should be able to beat a sniper sprinting around the corner with a sniper rifle. That's only fair. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was under the impression that it was gone altogether, I would probably be... Uh, satisfied with the changes that have been made. But instead, because I was expecting it to be gone altogether, I feel completely let down, and worse, I feel completely misled. So, anyways, quick scoping is in Call of Duty, and I've learned to live with it just like I always do, but I do feel fooled once again. So don't fall for the same trick I did, people. And may the force guide us in these dark times. This is Batman, signing out.